Okay, we're at the start of 2022, brand new year. We know Jordan Brand is releasing a lot of shoes, and I do mean a lot of sneakers. Now, if you're into sports, you know quite often there's the two early draft predictions that happen at the start of seasons, and we're at the end of the football season, which means Aiden Hutchinson will go number one in the draft. I'm pretty confident in that. But I'd like to go over something a little different, all right? Let's just call it my two early pass predictions for Jordan Brand. I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see yeah. These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back Another video talks with TJ aka TJ2 Swoosh T Yeezy MA2 TJ T Essentials and if you watch the video about the Pixel 6 Pro versus the Samsung Galaxy S10, then you might know that this here is actually the Pixel 6 Pro <laughs> that I'm using to film um, right now. Other phone is actually charging. So let's run down at least just a few of my probably two early pass predictions for Jordan brand. Yes, uh, we know, well, we have an idea of the release dates, what they look like. And again, I say too early just because I haven't seen any of these in hand. And so I can't say like, oh my goodness, my mind was changed once I saw the quality and the materials in hand. No, it's actually too premature for me to even say that, but just looking at pictures and this is actually going for maybe a few things in 2022, some things look to be an easy pass for me and January, we'll, we'll get to what I'm really after in January. Uh, okay, I guess we'll do, listen, there are forums dropping on the 15th, okay? 84 high Adidas forums, and I'm very interested in those. So again, total opposite of what we're gonna talk about today, but I just wanna throw that out there. And there are some Reebok questions coming out of the Michigan persuasion, or at least colorway that interests me for the 15th. But for right now, let's run down some of these and why they may be a pass, even though a well, why is not needed. One pretty much already dropped, the Air Jordan 13, court purple and they're throwing court purple on a lot i'm not mad at that i would love to have the court purple ones but that's not in the cards for me um now i'd also love to see somebody do a custom similar to like i don't know lakers themed or whatever when it comes to the court purple if you recall and you were around i picked up the air jordan 13 hyper royal uh i believe end of 2020 picked it up on discount because i was still working at kids foot locker great 13 not worn enough therefore didn't eat the court purple this may or may not actually make some people go a little bit red in the face with anger but the air jordan 4 red thunder not something that i need i am just really partial to having the bread four in my collection and at one point this was actually a double up and i traded one of those away but I have this, so I don't see a need for the Red Thunder, nor do I care for the accents that are present on the Red Thunder, as opposed to what's present on the Bread 4. So yeah, that's an easy pack. And two fives here, both are a no. The Women's Arctic Orange and the Racer Blue 5. Both are no's. They're, they're just no, just similar to that Moonlight Oreo 5, whatever they wanted to call it. That was a no too. And I don't think these will be pairs also that people go crazy over, which is awesome if you're interested in the pair. Hopefully you're able to get your hands on it. Just know I will not be fighting you for them. Okay, I am hope I'm saying this right. The Air Jordan 8 Rui Hachimura that comes out. I like the tone, except I have these, okay? I have these. I don't wear these eights enough. I did a whole video. I'm pretty sure this was another eBay find for myself a few years ago. I'm happy to have it, I just don't wear it enough. Therefore, going after silhouettes I really don't wear right now in my collection in 2022 doesn't seem like the smartest, I guess, use of money. So for that reason, I will pass on the brand new 8 that's coming out. However, this is still really clean. I mean, I, I, I feel like I really got a steal on eBay with these. All right, and finally, just for non-Jordan 1s, because we will get to those, the Air Jordan 7, the Citrus. Um, that's never really moved me. I'm not sure why, if it's maybe the mix of, well, I don't want, necessarily want to say the mix of like red and orange together because I'm pretty sure there are sneakers that have both of those colors in them that I don't have a problem with. With the 7, I am just super particular. I don't know if it's because I have this bias that it does look so much like a Jordan Flight that 
some colorways are just a turn off and maybe when you've worked around a lot of jordan flights that's what happens when you've worked retail for Foot Locker. i'm not sure but the citrus 7 is a no if we could just give me the olympic 7 that would be great finally air jordan ones it we're we're never just gonna get rid of those i just think they're here to stay in abundance by jordan brand i'm not mad about that i like them not mad about that actually i love them it's my favorite silhouette not mad about that at all, but uh, for the Air Jordan 1s that are coming out, at least that we know of for 2022, we're fully aware based on recent years, they're gonna drop a whole lot more that we're not, we're not privy to right now. But there are quite a few that are on here. Now in terms of like, oh, something I just wanna chase down, really wanna have, I'm gonna try not to use the words must have, right? But some pairs that I really, really want, okay? I've only really commented 1 and 11 on this board that you're seeing by Z Sneakerheads, but um, 4 is also in there. Now, I am a little biased, okay? My godbrother coaches baseball at Georgetown, so I am a little biased to cheer for his team, his school, literally working there on staff. Um, but also, I like the colors, okay? Georgetown can't go wrong with that navy and that gray. So, number 4, I will go for um, because, listen, I don't have a problem with getting a men's 7 at this point. So what I really, really want though, number one, all right, that, that dark marina blue, absolutely want that. And then the yellow toe. And past that, a lot of these are a hard no. I mean, I get it, the brotherhood too. Okay, I'm not an Omega Sci-Fi, therefore that shoe is not moving me. Uh, looking at a lot of the other ones here, it's, it's just a no, it's especially number nine. I know that that might just be a mock-up, but it's a no for me. So that's not to say that I'm not one of those people that's going to say, oh, I'm saving a lot of money in 2022. No, money is still being spent in 2022. It just won't necessarily be on these specific releases that I said are a pass for me. There are other things coming out. Even though I hate standing in line and seeing how far back I am for New Balance releases, I'm bigger efforts to maybe go after those, okay? Or just hit the secondary market, quite honestly. Adidas, forums, as long as they're not sizing me out, those are pairs that I want absolutely 100%. And Vans does some more cool collabs, zero problem going after those. And then we'll just see what else the year brings. But yeah, as of right now, those are two early past predictions, at least for me. Again, things can change, people's minds change. That's the beauty of free will. Um, so go ahead and comment below of those pairs listed. What are your thoughts on them? Are they pairs you're chasing down or maybe not? Maybe does this seem like a rather chill year for you in 2022? Um, if you like what you see, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. And as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace. Peace.